Hey traders, welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Rod with Pow Group and today is Friday, February 12th. In today's video, we're going to discuss the high blockchain stock as the stock of the day and we're going to go over a few market moving news and events and we'll go over the corporate presentation just in a quick minute or so. I'll let you guys review it on your own and then we'll go into the charting for Hive a little bit more in depth since it's the end of the week. And then we'll look at some individual names and the overall broader market. But before we jump into today's content, make sure to smash the like and subscribe to the channel. I'll also put a description of timestamps in the description below so that you can get to that specific part if you so choose. So before we jump into Hive's corporate presentation, we'll just go through some news and events. We saw that the house advances $1,400 payments, $1,400 payments and unemployment boost as part of the relief plan. So we could be seeing, Americans could be seeing that check here in the foreseeable future. We also saw that the federal government of Canada approves Air Canada's purchase of Transat AT Inc. So we had some questions about whether or not this was gonna spark a bull rally. I really don't believe so as we basically knew it was probably gonna be approved anyway. And the airlines are extremely in bad shape right now, to, for lack of a better word. Um, but Air Canada posts bleak results as Transat deal comes through. So they posted an operational loss and just revenue was down, I think 70%. And they are just not seeing any, not giving any guidance or any good outlook at all. So it's a long time coming yet, I think, before we'll be going long Air Canada personally. This isn't financial investment advice, this is just for entertainment purposes only, but personally, I would not be buying it anytime soon. So we also saw that Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z, and that's Twitter's founder, and Jay-Z aim to make Bitcoin the internet's currency. So Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z are joining forces to fund Bitcoin development in Africa and India. So that's pretty cool. We'll see, you can check out that article on your own time, but it's, Nice to see more celebrities and I think uh, Lindsay Lohan tweeted Bitcoin to the moon or something. So Snoop Dogg joining the, the space as well and getting his words in. So we'll see if there's any more confluence to that and just overall broader acceptance and adoption. So taking a look at high blockchain, I'm just going to skip through this. If you don't know who they are, they are a mining company. So they mine primarily Ethereum and Bitcoin, and they are the largest Ethereum miner. And if you take a look at their financials, it's likely going to be very, very good. I've heard some rumors that their operational costs are only about $3 million and they're bringing in about $15 million in revenue. So some good margins there. We'll see if there's any truth to those numbers, but earnings are coming up on the 2nd of March. That's the tentative date. We'll want to see confirmation from Hive though. So newly acquired low cost Bitcoin mining facility scaling up next generation equipment, all powered by green energy since day one. One of the largest and most diversified public cryptocurrencies uh, miners glo globally. Hive is the most liquid Canadian listed cryptocurrency miner, has outperformed coins and comps year to date. Again, you can check this out on your own time, but a lot of great information in there and I think the stock could be heading to all-time highs. We're seeing a lot of momentum and we had a weekly bull flag that confirmed today. So you can see here we held the 0.32 FIB and we held the EMA 12 as well. And seeing that break of the weekly bull flag confirmation when we broke above 350 here and we had an extremely bullish close to the week and likely continuation into next week. We had some decent volume, increasing bull volume here on the way up as well. So we'll want to see increasing bull volume next week as well. Just getting daily overbought. And again, nice touchdown off EMA 12. And daily higher low is now set. And the weekly bull flag is confirmed. So if we target the weekly bull flag, it's likely going to take us to the $5 area. But we have all-time highs in sight. And we could easily get there next week. We'll see... Ethereum's been on an absolute tear. You can see here we hit an all-time high today and we're up around the 1864 area. So we'll see if Bitcoin or sorry, we'll see if 
Ethereum can get over the $2,000 mark, that's obviously going to help Hive blockchain as they mine primarily the most Ethereum in their, in their mining capabilities. So that's obviously going to have a great impact on the price and we'll see how their earnings are on March 2nd. But hearing lots of good things and can't wait to see a more formal communication from the company. But we could be forming a huge cup and handle here on the monthly. And if we take a look at Riot, similar situation and it just blew right through. So they mine primarily Bitcoin, but Hive looking good. In a monthly uptrend, weekly uptrend, daily uptrend, full steam ahead and green lights, all systems go for Hive into next week. So we did have even a mini hourly bull flag there as well. That confirmed, want to see follow through into that next week, but hourly uptrend is going to be key here on this daily move. And we have resistance, like I say, up at all time highs, but just zooming out. There's also a tiny area, obviously $4 psychological, 405, 415. After that, nothing really on the daily until all time highs. So we'll look for continuation next week and we'll take a look at the weekly moving averages and indicators. So you can see here this weekly bull flag, perfect off the 10 week moving average. Another, so held EMA 12, held the 10 week moving average. We also crossed the, the black line over the red line here and to into the end of the week. And we finished the week with that, with a bullish cross on that indicator on stochastic. The MACD extremely bullish starting to, to diverge here and just blast off once again after this huge move. And like I said, picture perfect bounce off the 10 week moving average. And here we go, weekly bull flag confirmed. Taking a look at the moving averages, this is something you gotta see. The 50 crossing through the 100 and the 200 weekly moving averages all in one go. Something very similar happened to Ethereum. So we'll bring up that chart. Look what happened, cross through the 100 and the 200. And from that signal, we were at roughly $600. We have since over doubled. We've essentially, essentially tripled from that signal. Can we expect all time highs and a similar move from Hive? Well, I definitely think so just based on the current technicals. And if we see fundamentals come through on the financials here on March 2nd, that tentative date, we'll wanna see confirmation from the company. But again, just without any fundamentals, the chart looks ready to go, likely heading to all time highs. Uh, or at least $5 in my opinion. And we'll see, we could see stellar earnings. Obviously they should post as long as they don't have a crazy loss or anything like that. So we'll be watching the reaction to their earnings, obviously with Ethereum being at all time highs and breaking to blue sky breakout, it's likely going to add to their margins and their overall company revenue. So we'll continue to check back on those financials, but the weekly chart is looking ready to go. On the daily chart, we touched down, we didn't lose the 50 day moving average on all of that pullback. So that was a very healthy sign as well. And the daily MACD is blasting off, very, very bullish to top it all off. And we never lost the weekly VWAP. We're above all the moving averages there. And on the daily, above all the moving averages and the VWAP. So extremely bullish chart. Haven't seen a chart this bullish in a very long time. Last one I think was Hexo. Reminds me a lot of Hexo chart. Maybe even more bullish. Dare I say that? <laughs> so taking a look at some other market movers today. We had Space, Dash, DDD, NKLA, C-Web on the bear list. Space uh, had their launch delayed this weekend. And on the bull list, we had Riot, NEXE, FVRR, Fiverr, AC, and PayPal, BlackBerry. I'm also swinging some BlackBerry this week, uh, this weekend, and expecting more upside, just looking for a daily bounce continuation. And we could be setting up for a daily trend change here. You can see we did lose this mini higher low back here on the daily bull flag. So we had support at 12.01. We lost that, so we lost the daily uptrend. We could be on the verge of setting a daily downtrend. We lost the uptrend, but we didn't confirm a downtrend. So we could be on the verge of 
confirming a daily downtrend, but we could also be on the verge of confirming a daily uptrend. So if we break above 1435, that will confirm a daily uptrend. And if we lose 1108, that's going to confirm a daily downtrend. We have EMA 26 there as support, just sandwiched right there at EMA 12. And personally, I'm was looking to get some for a long-term hold in my long-term portfolio. And I added up, I added around the 1150 area when we started to bounce and just added a bit more today, looking for these daily higher lows and a potential trend change. So like we said, we'll want to see something like this, where we set a higher low and a higher high, that'll give us the trend change and no real resistance up here until $28. So just a smaller position, but we could see significant upside here and just bear with me. I'm still nursing a broken hand. So we could see over 100% upside here if we do get above resistance at 1435. After that, from that level, we're looking at upside of 100%. So even if you wait for the daily trend change confirmation, enter at the break of that, set your stop below the new higher low down here at 1213 or just under 12 psychological and EMA 26. You enter on the confirmation of the daily trend change. I will add more there as well, likely to my swing position. I've added to twice now to my long term. And if we break this daily uptrend and confirm, I will likely add to a swing position and set my stop below the low and then look for a lower high compared to 2877. So that's all we're going to be anticipating at this point. So we do have earnings coming up on March 26th, it looks like. So that will obviously be a volatile event, but not at, uh, anytime soon, quite a while away. So we're going to move on from here. That's pretty much all I wanted to highlight today. We'll just move through this a little faster today. I do want to highlight SPY here as well, since it is the end of the week. So SPY held the 10-week moving average. And the stochastic is still bearish, but MACD just barely clinging on bullish. And we didn't lose the 10 week moving average. And we had an all time high weekly close yet again on SPY. Just taking a look at QQQ. So QQQ, pretty much the same deal. All time high close and record close. So we'll just check into the overall broader market here, real quick. So not overbought on the weekly yet. And perfect bounce off EMA 12 on the weekly. Set that weekly and this daily higher low here could be a daily bull flag. And it looks like it is confirming here. We had the high of 392.28. And that was previous all time high. And we have the high now, new all time high of 292.90. And currently at 293.01 after hours. So if we bring up the extended hours, we hit 293.19 after hours. So setting all time highs and blue sky breakouts here after hours, testing EMA 12. But daily inside bar broke bullish, confirmed the daily bull flag. And here we go. We could be in for a crazy week next week. Personally, I'm hedging with some SPXS and SQQQ on my long-term MJ, which I added to those positions as well. I'll do another video for the MJ sector here shortly after this, or I might do a live, we'll see. But that's pretty much all I had for you guys in terms of SPY, taking a look at the dollar. So the dollar trying to fight off a bear cross of the EMAs here. We got above, but we're starting to pull back and seeing a nasty reversal candle here and huge upper wick. So trying to get that daily bounce going and on the hourly could be a potential hourly bear flag. Just bring up the fib retracement here. So we could bounce to roughly 90, 50 level and still be considered an hourly bear flag at this point. So we'll see, we have daily support coming up as well down at 90.04. So that could come into play a lot sooner than later. And we'll be watching for a potential head and shoulders as well a formation gold and silver so silver getting its daily bounce on gold not so much breaking to new lows so silver standing out stronger than gold here i actually added 
some SLV today as well on that daily inside bar bull break. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Again, it looks like we're going higher in the markets next week. And I'm swinging some Blackberry, some MJ. I've got some Hive, some Crypto. And I'm also hedging with some SVXS and some SQQQ, which is short, the S&P 500 and the tech sector. So with that, thanks for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for a daily market recap. And we shall see you guys next week. Have a great long weekend. As a reminder, the markets are closed on Monday for both the U.S. and Canadian markets. So looking forward to a long weekend and we will talk to you guys very soon.